we are going to learn about the difference between conversion and conversion by conversion time so here you can see from this campaign in the last seven days we have received 263 conversion and it is conversion by conversion time but uh, in the conversion column it shows only 242 conversions okay so why there is uh, no difference hi guys i'm spruti from solutions 8 and in this video we are going to learn about the difference between conversion and conversion by conversion time okay so as you can see inside this account we have added conversions by conversion time column and conversions column okay and uh, i'm viewing last seven days data so here you can see from this campaign in the last seven days we have received 263 conversion and it is conversion by conversion time but uh, in the conversion column it shows only 242 conversions okay so why there is uh, no difference because conversion by conversion time will show all the conversion happened in between your viewing date range so it will show all the conversion in the last seven days because we are viewing last seven days data but the conversion column the description is bit different it is like you can say conversion by click time okay so here uh, it will show all the conversion uh, for that click happened in between your date range so it will show all the conversion for uh, it will show all the conversion for that click happened between last seven days okay so it is a bit confusing but uh, if i if i explain you uh, by giving any example then you can understand Okay, so here we'll support an example. This is not a glitch. I'm interrupting the video you're watching because I need to remind you that I'm always looking for people to join our team. So if you're passionate about Google Ads and you want to work with the best Google Ads agency on the planet, please go to solate.com forward slash apply. Speaking of working with the best Google Ads agency on the planet, if you're having trouble with Google Ads and you want professional help, that's what we do. You can go to solate.com, that's S-O-L-8.com, to apply for your free, no obligation action plan. And if I've given you any level of value at all, maybe think about giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. That's how we juice the YouTube algorithm so they actually know that I know what I'm talking about. If you have questions, comments, concerns, or confessions, hit me below in the comments. And now, back to your regularly scheduled program. Day one, and... Okay. Okay. So, for an example, someone click on your ad on day one and know about your product and offerings okay but he did not make any purchase and later he come back to your site on day 8 okay so let's highlight this okay so he come back uh, again to your site by googling your brand name yeah come directly browsing your site and this time he make a purchase okay so on day 8 he make a purchase but if you are using if if you are viewing last seven days data i mean from day 6 to day 12 data then your conversion by conversion time column will show one conversion because the conversion happened in between your viewing date range but the click for this conversion happened beyond your viewing date range i mean day one so your conversion column won't show any conversion okay because the conversion for that click happened beyond your date range i mean day one and same if you are viewing uh, from 
day one to day seven data then your conversion column will show one conversion but your conversion by conversion time column won't show any conversion because the conversion happened after uh, you know your viewing date range on day eight but the conversion of um, but the click for this conversion happened uh, viewing your date range so your conversion column will count one conversion and your conversion by conversion uh, uh, time column won't count any conversion and same happens to converge uh, conversion value and conversion value by conversion time okay so i hope you got the concept and if you have still uh, you know some doubt you can ask me inside the comment uh, if you have liked this video please thumbs up and uh, share with your friend family wherever you can and please subscribe to this channel to watch this kind of a valuable tutorial and that's it for today and see you again thank you for watching bye bye Hi guys, I'm Spruti from Solutions 8 and in this video, we are going to learn about the conversion tracking best practices for any e-commerce Google Ad account. You know, in Google Ad, conversion tracking is the foundation. If your conversion tracking is not up to the mark, 